Well, here are the Olympic champions eager here because they did not skate at the Europeans due to an injury to him, eager to regain the world championship that was taken away from them by their teammates, the now retired Velova and Vasiliev last year in Budapest. They did win the original program and they are in classic white, Gordieva and Grinkov. Magnificent opening left, a split triple twist that she just seemed to hover in the air before he actually pulled her down and put her onto her blade on the ice. Flying double axles side by side. All of a sudden, the anxiety of watching pairs evaporates as you watch this couple. Beautiful pro double axel landed effortlessly with tremendous smile. This is what skating is all about. She's always presented herself so delightfully, but now that she's a little older, she's 18, she's gained a great deal of maturity. But one must not negate the fact, Ted, that the risk is still very much there. That was also absolutely as though she had dropped in from heaven. A beautiful throw, triple sow cow. Just because it looks easy, don't think for one second that it is. Is also the reason that they are the reigning Olympic champions. to hear some Strauss music too when the two of the greatest skaters are performing to it. Well, Strauss is the music that, in my opinion, is, is really a composer that has created music especially for skating, and these skaters are doing it beautifully. of this pair is the in-between movement and the way that they are actually work together and how the various moves fall into the next move seemingly without effort. Only the most, most masterful of all skaters are able to achieve this. Well, two of the other greatest, their predecessors from many years ago, the Protopopovs are here watching in Paris tonight and I'm sure they're thrilled by watching these young Soviet stars.
a magical performance. Again, one of those performances that set them far above any of the other pair skaters on the planet. Very similar to the performance that we saw in Calgary in the Olympics, where they simply were uncontested champions. The audience is on its feet here, and for very good reason. It was magical, poetic skating, masterfully done. Um, this is the sort of program that one could very easily see a whole row of 6.0s. I think that they should come out for this program. Dollar, you always wait to get a lump in your throat at a world championship in any sport, and that brought the lump in the throat. You can be very, very sure, because I have never seen them better. I've seen them many times, but even the Canadians who will skate next, Cindy Landry and Lyndon Johnson, uh, came out and applauded this performance by these amazing Soviets. <laughs> And she wastes no time, just picked up one little bouquet, and <laughs> there she is. Well, their first set of marks, they did not get a six. They have five eights and five nines right across. Those are the highest marks, but I guess sixes are not in the book this year because if there were to be sixes for anything, I would have thought that they would have come for that performance as you did, Taller. We'll have to wait and see. The next set of marks for artistic. 15.9 there only, and that was from the Swiss judge. Their marks for artistic, well, there are a lot of 5.9s, all but one. That was a 5.8, and those are first place marks from every judge, and I'm quite sure, I don't know what kind of a miracle would prevent those being gold medal marks and the regaining of the world championship for them, Grinkov and Gordievo. Five, nine, five, nine, five, nine. Thank you. 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 Thank you